Hey guys. Okay, so we just set up Dixie's whelping area. Um, everybody's been checking these out. Everybody wants to be in the whelping areas. Um, this one's for Dixie. This one's for Liberty. And I'm waiting on one more privacy screen to go here so they can feel like they have some privacy from each other. Um, we did get these whelping boxes from Puppies. Um, this is not sponsored, but I do like them. They have PVC pig rails. In fact, it's entirely made of PVC, which is much more sanitary than wood, easy to clean. I like it better than um, some of the other whelping boxes on the market. The pig rails are exactly how I would design them. Hey, hi, Ray Ray. They're exactly how I would have made them. The barrier or the threshold to enter is only six inches high, which is really good for pregnant moms with big bellies who are trying to step over this without bumping their bellies. Um, the walls are only 18 inches high. I would have liked them another six inches, but it's fine. And I think that it will contain the puppies until they're ready to start walking around and climbing out of the whelping box on their own, which I expect will be around for three or four weeks. And everybody's checking it out. Dolce's checking it out. Yes, Dolce's gonna have one of these too. Lola, Lola likes it. And Dixie likes it, yes. And Clifford likes it, yes Clifford. But actually we put these pens up, hi Clifford. Um, we put these pens up instead of the play pens that we had last year, just because Dixie and Dolce can jump over our play pens, and the moms really don't like that. They do not like when other dogs are jumping into their area. So for now, this is okay. They can all be together. But as we get closer and as they start really preparing their dens and nesting more, we will segregate the um, dogs that are not delivering from the dogs that are delivering so that they can have their privacy. Right, Dixie Doodle? Yes, you're such a good girl. 